little bit about yourself? I'm a mini monster truck driver yes. from Central California, and I love everything monster trucks. Fantastic. And I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, this is the first time you're going to drive a big monster truck? Yes, first time I'm getting behind the wheel. I'm really excited. Because it's getting, it's getting less fuel and more air in there. Oh. So it's basically making it, making it run like oh. yeah. All right. Roll with you later on. It's just going to run on a gas. Power on. Fuel on. How did this come about? How did my super duper boss, J.R. McNeil, uh, reach well, out to you? He just DM'd me and he said, you know, would you like to test? And so we started talking and I just, I never expect anything like this to happen. I'm so grateful for this experience. He is an incredible guy. He is so that great. J.R. McNeil. <laughs> out there because you're stopping you're just trying to think for a second pull it back to first okay okay obviously when you come back up to us to shut the truck off you put it to park Just say so safety. you have to pick up on it to go the whole way? Or? Nope. Okay. See, this way right here, it's got a little ramp, so it'll just pull right over it. Oh. This way right here, that way you don't bump the truck into reverse on accident. Yeah, So okay. you have to actually pick it up to go over park, to park. Oh. All right. All right. Okay. Now, what, what is this? That's just a button on turf, like race cars and stuff. That's not even hooked up. You can hit it all day long. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's the eject that's turbo. That's the eject button. It yeah. Eject button. <laughs> so it comes button. off before you eject. Oh yeah. Like your button. <laughs> Like 
tires are close to the bottom, three quarter throttle, half throttle, and if you feel comfortable, then just keep that pressure on the gas pedal until the front tires go up and off it, and the back tires go up and off it. As soon as the back tires go up and off it, you can let off the throttle, or tap it twice, or whatever. Just try to keep your foot away from the brake, and you're gonna try to put it all. So that drives you to brace yourself, steer the wheel, and then you can brace yourself. Best not to land on the brakes. Okay, if you do, it might be just if not, if you do it sometimes, it happens. Best of what we do it. It's no big deal. You just gotta keep the key aware around. Get comfortable yep, just drive it around. Alright. Feel like the front tires because you can see real good out of them now no body on them when when your front tires are right about to hit the base of the jump that's when you want to hit the gas okay. and just try to stay in it and you'll you'll feel the back tires drive off the ramp okay. so, so you know that's the main thing to try to remember is just drive the back tires up off the ramp so try to stay in the front until you feel that back tire until you feel the back tires leak okay. now on this little shorter one like that because it's so much if, if you're going a little bit slower, then you want to do the same thing. You want to try to drive the back tires up off of it. If you hit a little bit faster, like Chris was doing the second and third time he drove, he just carried his momentum up there. And basically, when he hit it, he all but let off the throttle. And the, he had enough momentum that it shot the truck straight up, and the truck leveled out and landed beautifully. And he did it. And I told him he did it. He did it on accident. But that's the way you got to do it when you carry more speed. A little less speed, you got to use the throttle. This is uh, Kristen again.
still Kristen, a little technical difficulty. Don't know what happened down there. They said maybe the rear steering or something went out, but she seems okay. Come the, <laughs> here come the medics.
Yes, you did good. Don't worry about it. Come on out. 